The countdown has happened. Argentina, who have enjoyed some success up here in Canada. Kickoff in the light jerseys. That kick is high and hanging, but a big right hand came in and knocked it back in the all crucial possession. Right in front of all the school kids on the far side, and they love that volleyball action in the air. Alvarez is brought down. Now they go wide. That flat pass in front of the defender. Sajuk keeping his feet. Catch and pass. Good work from Tobias Wade. That's got space for Alvarez. Santiago Alvarez gives it to the man himself, Marcos Moneta. Argentina on the board. And that young man was splendid, has been splendid really all season for Argentina. As you see right off the bat, they retain their kickoff, and that's where it all starts for Argentina. Little, little serpentine swivel run there, and then just easy, easy setup there for Mineta to get in. Well, we mentioned that Argentinians like it here in Vancouver. They ended a 13-year drought with a very emotional victory here just before COVID. They've since won in Hamilton and lost the final last weekend down in Los Angeles. So our team in <laughs> going in the right direction. And one of the 7,000 school kids who have got a Friday morning off school to come and support international sport on the HSBC World Series. That's how we inspire them, Phaedra. Let them watch some of this great action. They got to watch the women earlier on this morning. First time in the big stadium. And now it's the men. Japan. Again, always lots of possession and very comfortable on the ball. This time, it's been poached at the breakdown. Oh. Great technique from Argentina. Circling across is Bellandini. He flips it out to Gonzalez. Gonzalez breaks the tackle, lifts the heels. Luciano Gonzalez for Argentina. And with biceps that big, Gareth, I, I let him score as well. But we know Argentina as being, you know, one of the strongest teams in this series to score off a transitional ball. They turned it over and then they just moved it to the right side of the field to the man that's not also that's not only strong but quite slippery in the tackle piece. Yeah, only 16 tries in Los Angeles last week. They've already got two in the first two and a half minutes. Conversion is added. There's Gonzalez, 103 tries. Starting way back in the cake 10 in Wellington in 2017. Great memories of that event. As we are in our 200th HSBC World Series event, so many great hosts, so many great memories around the world where the World Series has taken us. Argentina, ball in one hand from Rodrigo Iscro. Doesn't pay off there as it's spilled by Pelandini. Yeah, he's a man who makes few mistakes, but definitely unhappy about that one. Plenty of time to redeem. He had an outstanding performance last weekend, Iscro making the L.A. Dream Team, along with teammate Gonzalez, spoke about earlier, Crouch. last try score. Bind! Set! Referee Keen lets the scrum pack down. Again, more pressure on the Japanese, gets possession. Sajik right through the middle, great tackle across, but tons of help on hand. Tobias Wade pops up, the 23-year-old gets the third try for Argentina. Yeah, and that's just simple work by Argentina. Again, turning that ball over, making good of it, keeping it alive however they could, and little offload pop pass makes just good work for Wade. Great work from Zadjo, keeping his using his size to suck in those two defenders and getting his hands free. The reliable left boot of Joaquin Palandini adds two more. Speaking of Barca, <laughs> 
and the obligatory selfie. <laughs> Massive big screen here in the middle of BC Place, so the kids are seeing themselves up there. Again, a contact in the air. Surely that's not legal, but the referee's going to play on, and they've won the penalty through the breakdown. Japan, as we said, they're called the Brave Blossoms for a reason. They fight right to the death. Those two wins last week in Los Angeles, as we see Yakushiji, the good run, came after trailing at the half. They're trailing right now in the first half, 19 points to nail, looking for their first score. Good width through Koga. The power of the big man, Karevi. Comfortable with that ball in the big right mitt. Nice cut off his right foot. Stunning work from Ishida as he loops around and slices through the Argentinian defense. Well, my God, Japan needs the ball in hand more. They, this is actually their first passage of play with ball, and they make so good of it. Just working the ball splendidly down both sides of the field, and then Ishida comes in with some tricky footwork to just manipulate that Argentinian defense. Superb effort by Japan. Conversion to come. Oh, badly missed, and I don't know if it's going to cross the goal line. So, not Hayashi's best work, but they can regroup. That's a positive end to this half, and they'll be putting the restart back into play with just 20 seconds to play. Yeah, and that's a tough stat for Japan. Yeah, I mean, the, <laughs> not winning a, a game since 19 is it's rough. And a very quick whistle. Japan didn't restart the ball within the 30 seconds required. I'm not sure there wasn't a ball available for a while. It's maybe a bit harsh on the Japanese, but it will be free kick at the half for Argentina, and they're going to choose a scrum. This is a very difficult platform to defend if you're Japan. Midfield scrum, options on both sides of the ball for Argentina. Argentina, as you can see, with that silver from last week going up Set. from fifth into third. Very positive for them when it talks to Olympic qualification, but also for the likes of Uruguay and Chile, who know that if they pre-qualify to their work on the HSBC World Series in the top four position, they won't be in the regional qualifier, and that will effectively open up uh, another spot for the South Americans. So they're playing for the whole continent here. Similar to what the USA Eagles do for us up here in North America. If they can go top four, it opens things up. The stop and go. Nice backing up from the Japanese. Way more energy in their attack now. Now, why is he not throwing that pass as the line speed was good from Argentina? That one spilled forward from Karevi. Referee's just going to get some help from his assistant Thank official. You. And that will do knock it on. for the half. The knock half on time. will end it. Frantic stuff, four tries, but three of them are two. Great work from Dan Lyle and his team getting that tournament delivered. In awful conditions of rain and hail and lightning. A couple of suspensions, but we won't have that here as the dome is up in Vancouver. Right now, Argentina came out of the gates really strongly with three tries, but Japan have clawed their way back. Gonzalez gets that one back, just barely. Gonna come back. Offside. For an offside at the tackle. Yeah, Argentina want to look to be a bit more disciplined this half. They had three penalties in that first half. You also want to clean up that defense a bit with a little bit of a disappointing 50% yeah. tackle rate coming out of the first half. Time off, please. That's what opened the door for Japan to score. Time off, hold the thrower. Hold the thrower, step in front of the thrower. Time's off. Time's off for the moment. 
As we mentioned, a three-day yeah, format now. here in Vancouver. Two games a day for these teams. Time on, please. You have traveled up the coast on a bit of a short break, but it's in the same time zone, so clear welfare. Just enough to get them their rest. Long throw. It's held the line out, which forces the Japanese to stay back. And around the corner, steaming away. This is Wade. He's already got a try, and that one's bobbled. Tobias Wade, the 23-year-old, has really stepped up here. Frustration there for the East Coast. Yeah, that's its second error this game. And Time off, please. Really South. unforced. The line speed of Japan wasn't so overwhelming that Argentina couldn't take their time to really get the ball out. So they really need to take a deep breath here and regroup. Come on. Crouch. We're here at BC Place. Five. Home of the BC Lions of the Canadian Football League, the Vancouver Six. Whitecaps of the Major League Soccer. But it's all rugby this weekend. Japan. With the flow. And again, they're penalized the breakdown for holding on. And they've chosen the scrum. Yeah, you can see Argentina scoring 42 tries off the set piece, 30 off the restart, 18 off the tap, and 5 off the kick. I'd say that's the complete inverse of when their coach Santiago Gomez Cora used to play so many tries off the kicking game back then. A very small part of this current Pumas attack. Argentina, 10 meters out. Show and go from Elizalde, and he's over the line. His first touch off the bench. Tomas Elizalde in for the try. And that was just, again, good heads up play. That scrum, it's very, it's very difficult to defend if you're Japan midfield with gentlemen like that coming full speed ahead. Elis Elizade. Oh, using everything, the post and in. Smiles all around as Argentina's reclaimed their dominance. 21 points. <laughs> Can you move like that, Gareth? <laughs> no, although I'd be pretty happy if I had a Friday morning off school. That's true. To watch some rugby. This is, of course, education, isn't it, Phaedra? Real education. <laughs> well gathered there by Japan through Ishida. It's their best kickoff receipt in a while. Running into white jerseys in the midfield is Fukushi. Out the back door, the kick and chase. Is it going to stay on the park? No, it just rolls into touch. So effectively a turnover, Phaedra, even at a high risk option it's effectively a turnover giving the ball back to the pumas yeah you know i think his probably had hoped that kick would s skate up a bit further and put him in into the area of uh, argentina but didn't work out that way argentina great line out the first pass isn't good trying to get close to that gain line in the flat ball just a great power balance of power and pace they're not the biggest side out here by any means but their core we saw it in the wet last week they're so strong so good over the ball great recognition all playing with their heads up there as we see a wide one received by augustin fraga again vision realizing the japanese are taking away the midfield they go back and field and that's exactly what you want to do with your line speed force the opposition to play where they don't want to the one leg hold on graziano the 21 year old schultz Hermann schultz the veteran now the flat pass i think that's gone off of blue hand this could be trouble and we'll have a look at the referee 
Yeah, he's gone to his pocket. That'll be two minutes in the sin bin. Yeah, so unfortunate for Japan, but just a good game of keep away by Argentina here. You put that hand up. You always have to be aware of where your hands are, especially when you're in the proximity of that ball. And if you're going for the ball, please, by all oh, means, yes. retain it. Yep. Yeah, it's instinct, isn't it? But zero Come tolerance yep. for that. Yoko Okidata will spend some time in the bin. If, if he gets Come it right on. and it sticks, then he's, he's good to go. But it's Crouch. a high risk. And the most experienced sevens players will, I guess, Five. try and manage that desire to get the big play and just keep their Set. hands in. So just outside the Japanese 22. Former World Rugby Player of the Year running across the face. Now they get it wide, a looping pass. Good teamwork. Franco Rosetto benefits on the outside for Argentina. Yeah, that was pretty simple mathematics by Argentina with the seven on six overload. It's all about getting it out, shifting it, letting the ball do the work through the pass. It's a great team try. Yeah, just a bit too easy if you're the Japanese. But he's happy to take it. Oh, nice strike, but it just fades away. Looks like your golf shot there, Fader. It's Tobias Wade can't add the extra two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my ball would have gone behind me, probably. <laughs> more MMA these days than golf for you? Yeah, more MMA. Or <laughs> swinging than that. Different type of swinging. All right. Just a dying seconds here. Beautifully weighted and hung kit. Floating with the sideline. Japan keep it alive. That one's been knocked on. So 10 no, seconds to play. Again, we've seen that bravery from the Japanese, but just lacking that punch, that ability to break down the closing defenses. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Oh, okay. Little battle scar there early on. Yeah. Here comes. Time off, please. Okay. Time on. So, last play of the half, barring a penalty. Japan put in. Crouch. Through Noguchi. Bind. A little bit of pushing and shoving, but a Set. gamesmanship from the scrum halves. Noguchi gets it away. Very narrow attack. Looking to go on the outside. Other fresh legs of Ishida off the bench. Nice pressure. That's that physical presence from the Argentinians. They counter ruck. Japan still got their hands on it, though. Penalty against Argentina at the breakdown. Quick tap. Latinara Sojima gets his first real touch. So dangerous. 39-year-old is. He's looking to pass over the mantle of Japanese sevens. But Simon Amar knows his value to this team, keeping him involved, even though he's not playing quite as many minutes as he used to. Knock back is Noguchi. There's two on one. Oh, this time it's Argentina guilty of that handout and the knock on. They're going to come back. And it will be an extra player for. Well, it won't be an extra player because Japan already have one in there. He's, he's going to be released and the seat is open. <laughs> so it will be filled by the Argentinian. Let's watch here. Yeah, you see again. Just getting his hand on the ball, the Argentinian defender there, knocking it forward. But good heads up, like resilience by Japan to not give up. They need to build a bit more momentum going into their second pool game later today. Let's go. And of course, this is pool match action, so every try could be a factor. Points difference comes down to it. We've just seen South Africa and France go at it. They drew 19 points each. So both sides here. Fine. Japan will want to score one, and Argentina won't want to concede one in the dying minutes. Time off, please. Time off. We're going to reset it. Again, another hook, long please. match here, yes. Pedro. Yes. 
Yeah, probably not affecting them so much right now, but come tomorrow and Sunday could play, play a factor. Every second counts. Well, Rosetto getting a rest, but not the one he really wants in the naughty chair, Set. as we say. Japan, seven on six. Can they create an overlap? Good flat attack, good pace injected midfield. Fukushi's brought down. Head tackle. Quick tap. Noguchi. Options. Noguchi's off and running. He's got support. Oh, that's going to be another. Ben, I wonder if we can go penalty try here, though. It's a different situation. He's definitely going to go to his pocket for the intentional knock on. But I think he's within his rights, Ruben Keane, to call a penalty try. Yeah, yeah I agree with you there. They were so close to scoring, would have scored otherwise, had not that knock come about. And it's seven on five, a rare moment in sevens rugby. And just going for the line, reaching and bouncing is Taiga Ishida. Off, Referee's going to have a look. Let's listen in here. Timo, try yes or no, please. Yes or no on the try Kicking is the out. question. Yeah, Ishida went through the middle. He's bounced once and he's got the option to put it down. That looks pretty solid. Keep your eyes on Mr. Keane. The referee. Ruben, you may award the try. Ruben, you may award the try. I don't know if Ruben can hear our TMO. Ruben, you may award the try. He's obviously got an earpiece in and it's part of the communications team. No award fault of his. The try. <laughs> Everyone in the stadium, including myself, Do you guys hear anything? he can't hear it. So. Okay, I'm, all, I'm happy with that on screen. Thank oh, you. great work from Mr. Keane. He has said, I'm happy with what I saw on the big screen in the stadium, taking the initiative, awarding the try. Mr. O'Brien is not required. Ishida gets the try for Japan and deserve it, given their effort in this match. They are the extras. 